give welcome you praise. Welcome, 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 welcome to Thank you, Father. Welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, yes, for the work you have done already. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. hallelujah. He's in your home. <clears throat> I feel him. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. hallelujah. We thank you for the new thing you're doing, mm -hmm. you're about to do in our lives. Father God, a new baptism mm -hmm. of fire, Jesus. I was feeling in my spirit as our apostle was ministering to us. The Bible says when the time had fully come, that God sent Jesus. And uh, I, I felt in my spirit that God was emphasizing on the fullness of time mm -hmm. and at the same time jesus spoke to his disciple he said go to jerusalem and wait on me and when the time come i'll send the helper i'll send the spirit of god and in those two form of shape uh, the, the children of Israel, the, 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 the disciple, they did not know in what condition, how Jesus would come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they thought they would, come, they would bring a savior, would come yes. and fight, a king who would come and fight for them. Mm -hmm. God sent the baby mm -hmm. in a manger who would yeah. die yes. on the cross of yes. humanity. And the yes. same way, they were waiting for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost came in a place in a shame in a form maybe they will not have recognized. It came as a strong, mighty rolling wind. Yes, and uh, the, the tongues of fire fell yes. on the disciples. Uh -huh. And it seemed confusing for those who were not part of the equation, for those who are not, who are not filled. They thought they were drunk. Yes, come and on. It seems like it was a disorder to the eye of men, mm. but it was perfect timing and yes. perfect order in yes. the eye of, of God. And I feel God wants to speak to you this morning. One might look like disorder to the natural, Come on to the world. Yes. And there's, to God, it is perfect order for an mm. introduction for okay. what he wants to do in yes, your life. Don't wait for what makes mm. sense, what <clears throat> makes, it sounds good to the yes. natural eye, to the yes. natural mind. Because yes. when God introduced something new, it's never in alignment with Alibos. our natural capacity Alibos. and our uh, 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 capacity to understand. His introduction for a new thing in Thank your you life, Jesus. it does not going to line up with how you ah, see things. So today, the fullness of time yes. in your life, I decree it and I declare in it Jesus in name. the mighty mm. name of Jesus. Don't go look for it. Don't go mm. to understand it. Because the same way, the same way Jesus come to the earth, ah. the same way the Holy Ghost was introduced, is the same way will come. Yes. It's going to shock and yes. awe you. Yes. Hallelujah. In so Jesus what name. seems like is disorder mm. Mm -hmm. in the natural eye, mm -hmm. in the earth, it's perfect timing for an introduction of a new thing in your life yes. in the mighty name in of Jesus, Jesus. Name. in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah I would just like to begin mm. to build from there mm. from this word mm. I'd like to give you an announcement mm. <clears throat> this year 2020 mm. is not like any other mm. year mm. not only is a new year mm. it, that's a gate mm. to a decade mm. but we are leaving things mm. in this year at mm. least up to now mm. There are such mm. a repetition mm. or revisitation of a cycle mm. of God. Mm. God works in cycles. Mm. It's cyclical. Mm. The first Passover was in confinement. Mm. And I really believe that's what happened mm. with the confinement because of the pandemic of the coronavirus. Mm. 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 At salvation, Easter, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Passover, that's what happened. This resurrection was not just a normal one. Mm, mm. It was the coming out into a dimension of glory mm. that we have never seen. Mm, mm, mm. My life has never been the same again. Mm, mm, mm. And on this Pentecost, allowed me to give you the announcement. It's like the first Pentecost. Mm, 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 mm. They were locked down mm. in the upper room. Separated from others. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. They had a promise to go and lock in. I'm speaking now. It was not a pandemic that locked them in. Mm, mm. It was a command from God mm. that told them, mm. on these days, go, mm. wait for me in Jerusalem. Mm, mm, mm. And they locked themselves up. Mm. I'm telling you, we are staying in mm, mm. because 
we have received a command. Mm. This is not just a pandemic that's locking you down. Mm. God is turning this thing for kingdom agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Close locking. And they were sitting just like today. You and I in the place where we're locked in. Connected by the bond of Lord in Acts chapter 2. That's what my wife just spoke about. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Ah, Pentecost it is not a Hebrew word. It is a Greek word. It is the word of 50. Related to the feast of weeks that God has given to the to Israelites. In other words, they will count seven weeks at 49 days. And on the 50th day, it was a celebration of the first fruit where we bring to him what God has given to us through our fields. Are you hearing me, somebody? Mm -hmm. And on that day, God visited them. The first Pentecost, when they left Egypt, that was a form of Passover. Mm -hmm. It happened when God gave them the law. Somebody watch me now. Mm -hmm. God gave them the law on the first Pentecost on the Mount Sinai. The Bible says it came down on the bottom of the mountain in the clouds and many voices begin to speak into the cloud. Listen to me. You cannot have a Pentecost without voices. You can't have the Pentecost without voices. You hear me? You can't have Pentecost without tongues. Somebody hear me? Even on that Pentecost where the law was given, there was a cloud. The Bible said the mountain shook because of of the invasion of God present and voices begin to come out of the cloud. The people of Israel were scared and that what God spoke to them in Deuteronomy says it. Is there any people in this earth who have heard the voices of God like you from the cloud and still live? I am on that Pentecost because of the law 3,000 people were buried because of rebellion. They hear the voice of the God and they run away from God. They say, Moses, you go up. We never hear so many voices coming out of a freaking cloud with fire all over the place. Man, the Bible says, is there any people who have heard the voice of God from the fire? From the fire? From the fire? Yet leave. Pentecost, it is the voice of God from the fire. Even though they died 3,000. On this Pentecost, when he introduced in the perspective of grace, 3,000 people were saved. I'm here to prophesy to you. On this Pentecost, restoration is coming your way. The first Pentecost killed 3,000 people. When the Holy Ghost come by grace and the grace in the fullness of time, when grace was come, let me tell you, 3,000 were restored to them. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I prophesy that you may receive a restoration. For everything that has been stolen, Jesus. everything that you have lost name. in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm preaching name. now to somebody. In Jesus name. Restoration on the day of Jesus Pentecost. Name. He said when the day has fully come. Oh. On the day of Pentecost, they were in one accord, in one place and suddenly. Let me tell you, there is a fullness of day that is coming today. There is a fullness of day that is coming today. There is a fullness of day for that miracle you've been waiting for. By the end of this service, you will capture the fullness of that miracle because the fullness of the day, the fullness of the day, the fullness of the day for the manifestation of God related to that expectation, related to that miracle, related to that breakthrough. It has come when the fullness of day of somebody, something come. Nothing by no means can stop it. Mm. It doesn't matter what is going on. There is a rushing wind that is coming today. It doesn't matter which mood or who is against you or who is stopping you. There is a, a fullness of day that has arrived for you. There is a wind that is blowing. I feel the wind that is blowing. I feel the fire that is coming because of the fullness of the day. Not just for Pentecost, but for a visitation, for prayer answer, for breakthrough, for the promise of God to come to pass for you. Capture that in the name of Jesus. I say capture by the fire in the name of Jesus. When the fullness of the day, listen to me, my fullness of day has arrived. You can be against me too bad for you because at the end of the day, that day has arrived for me. Who can stop it? If God is for me, who can be against me? 
you can point your finger that's your business brothers i'm too busy flowing in the wind and i'm too busy enjoying the fire my fullness of day has come mama i want you to say that woman of god i want you to pronounce that that the fullness of my day has come to inherit my promises the fullness of my day has come to inherit my portion the fullness of my day has come for my rising. The fullness of my day has come to inquire speed. The fullness of my day has come to move forward. The fullness of my day has come for my voice to be released. The fullness of my day has come for my prosperity to be allocated to me. The fullness of my day has come for a strange visitation. The fullness of my day has come to be located. When the fullness of the day of Pentecost has come, the wind begins to introduce it. The fire begins to introduce it. I call open the wind of the Holy Ghost to introduce that rising. To introduce that rising. To introduce that rising. I call open the fire of the Holy Ghost to introduce that miracle. To introduce that. Listen to me, brother and sister. These are prophetic services. We don't come here just to give you ABC. We come here to give you what the Holy Ghost is flowing through. So you receive it to introduce something new. This is the season for the fullness of the day. For the introduction of a new season. A new season. A new season. A new season. A new season in the name of Jesus. It say when the Holy Ghost comes, He filled the whole house. This is no time to be filled half away. He filled the whole house. He established an atmosphere of filling up to overflow. Are you hearing me? Yes. God wants to fill you up. Not, not just to fill you, but to fill you up to the brim so you can begin to overflow. Today on this Pentecost, it is a day of infilling to filling up completely, totally. You begin to rise and swim. Listen to me. Don't swim in the river at the ankle level. This one is to walk in. Don't swim in the river at knee level. That's one is for prayer. Jesus, Jesus. Don't Jesus. swim at the level of the waist. That one is for reproduction. Mm. There is a level of river, Magoya, Katola, Matakata, that is drawing you in where you are abandoned. Even if you want to do something, it has taken over you. That's where you get possessed of the Holy Ghost. Mm. You don't need deliverance for this one. You are possessed. In number one, you become somebody else. You become another woman. You become another man. You become another father. You become another husband. You become another wife. You become another businessman. You become another pastor. You become another leader. He takes over you. He controls you. He has break down culture. He has break down your fears. He has break down your personality. You turn into another man. I mean, I'm feeling that. That's the place where you begin to swim. You have no choice than to swim. You can no longer walk to be in control. You can never pray to be in control. You just abandon yourself. And I feel the flow of the Holy Ghost increasing. I feel the flow of the Holy Ghost rising. Somebody is about to be overtaken by this flow. Don't worry, let it go. I say, 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 let it go. Abandon yourself. Abandon yourself. Let it go. Lose control so it can take you to higher places, to deeper places, to strange places where you never been. Strange manifestation you never seen. Step impartation and impartation of the Holy Ghost where you never be. Welcome to the deep things. Welcome to the deep things. Deep calling on to deep. Where man ceases to be in control. When man ceases to be in control. When intellect ceases to be in control. Where the Holy Ghost possesses you. The Holy Ghost takes over you. The Holy Ghost begins to move you. The Holy Ghost begins to move you. The Holy Ghost begins to guide you. The Holy Ghost literally possesses Possess you, possess you, be possessed by the Holy Ghost today. I say, be possessed by the Holy Ghost today in the name of Jesus. Be possessed by the Holy Ghost today. Let Him move you from shallow waters and bring you into deep waters of the field of the Spirit. The Bible says, and then when they were filled with the Holy Ghost, they began to speak in our tongue. Listen to me, they began. On this Pentecost, there is thing that you have abandoned. When this Holy Ghost right now come upon you, you will begin again. 
begin again. You will begin. This is what introduced you to apostolic field. You become to undertake on things. Ashakatos. Things that have intimidated you. That you will not even dare to start it. There are dreams that have intimidated you. You can't even begin to talk about it. They are things in your heart. Project. They are so humongous and so powerful that you can't even begin to talk about it or even dare to start it. But on this Pentecost, Marosia, Barokete, Bada, the Bible says when the baptism of the Holy Ghost came upon them, fire and the wind, they began to, they began to, they began to. Allow me to usher you ah. by the hand of partnership in the dimension of beginning again. Oh, in the beginning, God created. You also in your beginning, you will start this business. In your beginning, you will start this ministry. In your beginning, you will rise again. I introduced the genesis of your life that you never seen before. A beginning, an apostolic Beginning, I shall not marakata. I am marakote lava. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall dare again. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you will start this thing again. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you will run for it again. Let somebody begin. You begin too in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. They said they begin to speak. Listen to me, with new voices. Listen, there are a voice in you that the world is still waiting to hear. Yeah, I know you're cute and you still remain cute. I know you're gracious. It's good. Keep remaining gracious. But it has nothing to do with the multiple voices that you carry. Listen to me. Each voice has a role to play in releasing portion of your destiny. Until this voice is released, portion of your destiny will remain unknown. Because the voice of God reveals what is hidden. And the voice of God carries power to bring into actualization what could have never been. That's why in the beginning God spoke and said, let there be. This is just not the only voice of God. Mm. This was a creative voice of God. Mm -hmm. It was not a healing voice of God. It was not an inspiring voice of God. It was not the voice of consolation. It was the voice of creation. Yes. I'm speaking to you. There is a voice that has been hidden in you. And on the day of Pentecost, by the baptism of the Holy Ghost, God wants to release this voice. There is a voice of creation that needs to see room to manifest. There is a voice of inspiration that needs to have room to manifest. There is a voice of authority and power that needs to see voice to manifest. There is a voice of the word of wisdom that needs to have room to manifest. I come in the name of Jesus on this day of Pentecost. And I release the multiple voices that man and creation still await to hear from you in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus name. Le bonga yala mate kele marapate ke ya baba. I cannot miss this. It say, but suddenly. I don't know if you buy believe in suddenly or not, but suddenly is not a minute. Mm. A suddenly is a dimension. A dimension. When you get in that dimension of suddenly. Everything is suddenly because whatever live in a dimension reflect and obey and honor the strength and the authority of that dimension. So you cannot be in suddenly dimension and there's no suddenly. It has to be suddenly. Do you understand? Meaning what? God just don't make something just happen suddenly. He drag it in the dimension of suddenly and it becomes suddenly. Amen. I don't know what in your life you've been waiting for so many years. Shit. It's been dragging because suddenly is what veto long dragging waiting time mm. i will say that again i said suddenly veto the long dragging painful harsh waiting and waiting until you become sorrowful tired hope defers that make the heart sick when suddenly arrive everything begin to be suddenly is that the baby you're waiting for i command in the name of jesus an atmosphere of the suddenly the dimension of sudden to become a reality where you are right now. Jesus that baby now become a suddenly baby. In Jesus name. It was a capital and a breakthrough financial that you've been waiting for. I assure you now in the dimension of suddenly. That thing 
become a suddenly now. This is a supernatural intervention of God that does ask your thing in, in a speed way Jesus. to redeem you from your struggle and your hardship so you can secure a testimony to thank Jesus. God for it. It is the suddenly that put an end to every spirit of delay and introduce a supernatural shift for your rising. Is somebody catching this? Is somebody catching this? Let me give you a few words here in the scripture before I close. I don't know where the time has gone, but we are pushing this thing through together. Happy Pentecost Day. You have been blessed already. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have been blessed already you have been blessed you are sitting wondering god i mean when this is gonna happen leave it alone just capture the suddenly anointing i just released the suddenly dimension that i just it come with a faith to empower you to rise so just capture this thing in the name of jesus christ delays have been catapulted and destroyed it's been veto god is now rising your wedding your your marriage has arrived receive it go begun to shop already in the name of jesus that baby has arrived Begin to shop, making the room already. Suddenly, this has visited you on this day of Pentecost. It shall be a day of remembrance that you will know by the word of the man of God, by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost, I capture something and my baby comes. This becomes an anniversary for you to know when God has visited you and remove your reproach Jesus. and bring what you've been waiting for in a place of actualization or manifestation. To turn it into a reality. Ah, we seal it by the fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name. I'm speaking to somebody. I don't want to let you go. Capture this. Don't be mental. Here's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Mm. Concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, mm, mm. I do not want you to be ignorant. Mm, mm, mm. I'd like to take a few minutes and talk about mm, mm, mm. rising by understanding of the gifts of the Spirit. Mm, you know God has been so gracious to the church. We flow in those gifts, but few people understand it. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to say it. You can be born again. Eden, exercising and manifestation, manifesting some of this gift of the spirit, but yet we are sometimes ignorant of the dynamics mm. and its inner working. Mm, 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 mm. It's not new because the same happened to the church of Corinth. They were powerful in the gift of the spirit, but yet it was disorderly. Jesus. The apostle Paul had to intervene and come and say, hey, hold it. Let we bring a platform of understanding mm. So that we can receive illumination. Thank you, Jesus. So now we don't just use it by the grace only. We use it with understanding. understanding. And our faith will grow in such a way that we'll begin to see strange manifestation of the Spirit of God. Jesus name. This is more than just baptism of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. brother and sister, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you have known. It's more. Jesus. That's what Paul was telling them. Jesus. This thing you guys are flowing into it Jesus. is more than just a baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking Jesus. tongue. Jesus. Because Jesus. there are manifestations that is coming Jesus. through the baptism of the Holy Spirit Jesus. that will stretch you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I said it will stretch you. Jesus. It will challenge your brilliance. Jesus. It will challenge your intellect. I must bring to somebody. They are manifestation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit that will not leave you indifferent. I want to start by telling you, we've been speaking forth, release God from the box, release God from the box, release God from the box. You got to remove, don't limit God, but I'm coming by the power of the Holy Ghost to speak to you. Today is not God you need to release from the box. You need to release yourself from the box. You really need to release your mindset from the limitation of your experiences because there are certain manifestations of the gift of the Spirit that are controversial in their operation. Mm. Let me make it clear. Mm. 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 I will say it again. There are certain manifestations of the gift of the Holy Spirit by baptism of fire. Mm -hmm. They are already <laughs> from the get-go controversial in their operation. Mm. And in your walk of faith, I tell you, you are going to encounter strange things mm -hmm. in this kingdom. 
you are going to encounter strange man, strange mm-hmm. woman, strange manifestation of the Holy Spirit that will challenge your education, it will challenge your culture, it will challenge your personality. I tell you, they will take you into strange places because it's a strange manifestation. The Holy Ghost is strange. Jesus. The Holy Ghost cannot be allocated to a curriculum in a university or by the life experience of a human being. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. It, the spirit that is unlimited in all things, it can freak you out, but please don't throw it out. Jesus. It can shock you by manifestation, but please mm-hmm. don't throw it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It can slap you and make you criticize him, mm-hmm. talk against him, reject it. Laugh about it, judge it, but please today, on the day of Pentecost, if you don't understand, let me tell you, if it's beyond your mind, let me tell you, if it's freaking you out, let me tell you, you see people screaming like mad dogs, rolling on the ground. Shaking for hours, screaming and speaking into weird stuff and doing crazy stuff. Hear me. They tell you this is not dignifying. It's okay. Don't throw it out. out. Because there are manifestations of the gift of the spirit that are controversial in the operation. Be patient. Don't turn off now the screen. I'm going to help you. Please. Yes. One of the greatest general of God. Mm. Dr. John Alexander Dowie, mm. a Scottish man that the parent moved to Australia. Hear me now. This is not the Rocky story. This is another one. Harabo Sandaya. Harabo Sandaya. Harabo Sandaya. Begolo pegando si baragadaya. Likuti bakosia. I feel something rising. That is a strange manifestation. I'm not trying to mess you up. Look at this woman here. She's dignified. But when the Holy Ghost comes, it shifts into right. other stuff. It's not because we are stupid and crazy. No. These are some brilliant minds that have decided to lay back and let God be. Finish. Terminate. Finish. We have been... I, I fought this thing for years until I got tired. Finally, I had no intellectual explanation, so I just surrender and move from the shallow water and become a follower. dele <laughs> Dr. Alexander John Dewey, mm, mm. Scottish boy, moved with his family to Australia. Mm. A doctor, a man who began to grow. He took political science and he took theology. He was so brilliant, yet so cocky and arrogant. Mm. He became the man who will use, mm. God will use now to mm. preach mm. in these universities. Mm. For years, mm. there is a pandemic that rose in Australia. The people in this church, he buried 40 people by the pandemic. Mm. He prayed for them, nobody get healed. I'm speaking to somebody, watch me now. Alexander Dowie, he prayed for each person based on the word of God until he said, no, this Holy Ghost doesn't heal. They made a mistake to put this in the Bible. Mm. How can God allow the pandemic that killed Christian? And I pray for them. 40 people he buried in his own church without counting the people who are dying in the community they call him to bury. He become a pastor of tomb, a pastor of burial. No miracle. Everybody prayed, they died. The pandemic, just like a coronavirus, begin to tear down his own congregation. The people were not leaving the church, they were dying. The church began to shrink too many dead people. Jesus. One day he sat down. He was a man who was very cultivated from a rigid culture who do not believe in this manifestation. And he began to pray. Mm. And the Holy Ghost began to visit him. And he began to have a strange manifestation of his body. His head began to shake. His body began to shake. He was sitting down alone. And he spoke against that. He criticized this movement. And suddenly a voice spoke from the shaking. Like the voice spoke on the door of Pentecost. Listen, when God visits you, you will hear his voice. In Jesus name. My oh no. In We've Jesus been hearing too many strange voices. Voices of men that have misled us. 
Voices of men that have intimidated us. Voices of men that have limited us. Voices of professors that have limited us. Voices of lecturers that have limited us. Voices of people around that have limited us. But on this day of Pentecost, there is a voice that is stronger. There is a voice of fire that is powerful to destroy every other voice and destroy a voice of culture. Destroy the voice of intellect. Destroy the voice of unbelief. Destroy the voice of pride and personality. It put it under arrest. And he heard a voice and he said, and Jesus went about preaching the good news and healing all that were sick. The Holy Spirit manifested upon him. And that word ceased to be a, ver a, a, a word. Mm. It turned into a voice. Until the word of God become a voice of God, translated by the Holy Spirit, you will walk in trying to do the right thing. Yes. But nobody gain mastery by trying. Yes. Everybody gain mastery yes. by understanding. Yes. You gain mastery by illumination. Yes. Not by trying. Yes. I know your parents tell you, keep trying, keep trying, you'll become yes. somebody. There is certain thing you don't become a master job by trying. You become a master by understanding. Galatians 2, 2. And they went up by understanding. Mm. It begin. They called him now and said one of the congregation men, member, a girl is dying because of this virus, the pandemic. He went there. When he arrived, the doctor said, okay, we call upon you so you can prepare them to die because we want you to pray a prayer to comfort the family and so on. You know, when you have an encounter with a manifestation, the man people know you to be as a barrier, burying dead people. You see, you cease to be that. They still have the same label. They're so used to Alexander Dowie burying people. Now, somebody want to die, they call me and say, brother, your ministry is not to bury people. So come and facilitate these things so we can take them in. We've seen it before. We've done it before. We have seen you do this. So this has become your anointing. This is your calling. I'm speaking to somebody. They have seen you struggle. They have seen you try without result. But on this day of Pentecost, your story is about to change. In Jesus' name. Alexander said, oh, oh, hold it. I know you've seen me. Mm. I bury 600. But please, oh. I have an encounter now. I think something might be different. You need to receive this word. Something might be Jesus different this time. Name. This time may not be like the other time. Mm -hmm. Something might be different. Mm -hmm. He said, let me pray first for the girl. The doctor said, no, no, I didn't bring you here to pray. We've seen you pray, never walk. Mm -hmm. Every time you pray, you bury. So you are here for the burial. That's why we call you. We didn't call you for something else. Brother, we know you are a specialist in burying. We know you are especially in failure. We've seen you start businesses the dead died here. Mm -hmm. you, you started to die again. Finally, we know when it's dying, we just call you. That's your label. I they label you. I said, I dare label you. Are your life become a laughing stock? That they only call you when they know it's sinking? I am about to say, as God reversed the story of Dr. Dowie by an encounter of manifestation Jesus. that was foreign to him, on this Pentecost, your story shall change. Your label shall change. Maria Kotolovas, Riyabakato, you will cease to be a laughing stock by visitation, by encounter. He prayed for the little girl. He said, Jesus went about doing good, mm, mm, preaching the gospel, mm, mm, and healing all that were sick in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm not saying it by the word, but the word that become a voice. Jesus. By baptism. Stand up now. Suddenly, the doctor was about to announce that the baby is dead because the heartbeat was going down. Suddenly, the heartbeat began to go up. The girl lived. From that day, mm. Alexander Bowie, Dowie, began to pray for people and everybody would be linked. Mm. Listen to me. I'm trying to say, mm. on this day of Pentecost, your yes. story shall change. Yes. The trail that you are walk on up Christ to now, the trail is about to change. The way people have referred to you, mm. it's about to change. Mm. The way they have seen you, it's about to change. Your storyline is changing. The storyline is changing. 
because of this visitation. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. A manifestation in Jesus. that went against everything he knew. In Jesus name. Everything is understood. It is that manifestation that changed his story. If you don't understand it, don't judge it. Mm -hmm. Leave it alone. Maria Woodworth of Illinois, a powerful woman of God, she will begin to pray people we call her the trans evangelist apostle. That's where people begin to shake like in trans. People will freeze for hours in her meeting. And when they come back, it's vision and visitations. People who didn't understand it turn against her. Listen, it's not because a manifestation is foreign to your education or to your background or your experience with God. That you will throw the Holy Ghost out. Do you think the Holy Ghost respect? Listen to me. You can only know God as much room you allocate to him. Yes. All you know about God is not all God is. All God has done so far in your life is not all God can do. It's only the room you gave him. That's only that room you allocate to him. Is by that measure he will demonstrate who he is. It's by the measure of flexibility and openness that it will demonstrate what it is. Mayakolo katakata. There is some damn word that cannot express what the Holy Ghost wants to say. And behold, it does not only speak to man, it speaks to principalities and we speak mysteries. I want you to capture this. And you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Samaria, and in all Judea, to the end, the uttermost end of the world. The Holy Ghost come to give you power, not weakness, to give you power to become a witness. A witness is the validator of a, mm. of a cause. He is the validator of a cause. We are rising up by the power of the Holy Ghost to validate, yes, Christ is Lord. To validate, yes, he is a healer. To validate, yet, he is a savior. To validate, he is the lover of mankind. He is all powerful. He is all wise. Somebody rise up by the Holy Ghost to validate that he is God and beside him there is no other. You shall receive power. Let me talk to you a few minutes and then I close this thing. Hear me, brothers and sisters. You can't do this without the power of the Holy Ghost. I know you know you are safe. Paul said, don't be neglecting ignorance of the gift of the Spirit and the power of the Holy Ghost. He's talking to believers. He said, brethren, you can be saved and not understanding the operation of this thing. You can even operate in the portion of it. And your mind is so limited that you will limit the unlimited God. Alone there. He didn't ask permission to anybody to walk on water. He is a strange God doing strange things. You know what Moses said? Moses said, I saw a strange sight. When God called Moses, he turned and he saw a strange sight. When a strange God manifests to you, you will see a strange sight and you become a strange man. You can remember, remain all cool down, dignified. When the Holy Ghost take, he break down man dignity and rise up to manifest the infinite power that is in him. The disciples walk with Jesus. Some of you are watching me saying, you know, I'm a man of the word. No man of the word without the power of the Holy Ghost. It is theology that has no power. I met so many people. We've been Christian for many years, but has no clue of this supernatural endowment, supernatural clothing, supernatural garment, supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. They think it's just gimmicks. This is no gimmicks, my friend. This is a strange manifestation of the Holy Spirit that is challenging your ego. You need just to 
stop walking in shallow water. Your ankles have been wet forever. It is time for you to climb up. Ezekiel, the angel measure, it went 1,000 cubic. It's time you go to 5,000 cubic so you stop walking, you begin to swim. Jesus. We call it baptism is an immersion. Is an immersion. Is an immersion. It is a full immersion. No hair is staying outside. All of you, you've been endo, flaming, passionate, branded with flames. The disciples saw a miracle. Watch me now. Will you not have been more committed to Christ if you were seeing him healing the sick? Of course, somebody will say yes. Will you have not been more moved by Jesus Christ if you seen him walking on water? And then you also, he give you power, you begin to cast out demons. Will that not be enough to make somebody stand by him in any situation? Listen, if you were there, you saw this multiplication of bread and fish, turning water into wine, mm -hmm. cleansing lepers, opening the eyes of the blind. I mean, they are walking with them, the close people of Jesus. But yet, when tough came to tough at the cross, they all ran away. I'm going somewhere. You cannot follow Christ without the baptism of the Holy Spirit. At one time or another, water will be fell on you and you will cool down. They've seen it. They didn't walk in it in the miraculous. Jesus gave them authority and power to cast out demons and heal the sick. They demonstrated that power walking with Jesus. They ate with him, drank with him, walked on water. Peter walk on water. But yet, when it came to pay the price and go to the cross and suffer, he ran away. Why? Because there was no baptism of the Holy Ghost. There was only a demonstration of the word. Hearing the same Peter, born like a lion by the word, walk with the word, it with the word, demonstrate it, engage in miraculous activities, saw so Elijah and Moses and Jesus on Transfiguration Mountain. But yet a little girl make him shook, almost be in his paint, allowed me to speak that in plain language. Jesus, Jesus. He said, no, 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 I don't know him. I don't, no, you sound like him. I sound like him. No, no, no. I don't sound like him. No, no, I don't know. Don't accuse me. I was never with the disciple. He renounced and denied him. Why? Because he knew the word, but he had no encounter with the spirit. Maraka to Kalakata. He knew the word, but no baptism or fire. They all ran away. Until the Holy Ghost came on that day of Pentecost from Acts chapter 2 that we read unto you. When the wind began to blow and the fire came down, the Holy Ghost came. Jesus said to them, listen, it's better for me to go because if I stay here, the day things get tough, you will give up on me because I don't have what it takes to make you know me. I will say it again. I don't have what it takes to make me, to make you know me. Jesus said, if I stay, you will think you know me, but there is no way for you to know me just by my demonstration here. You can eat and eat with me in the same plate and walk together and exercise miracle with me. But if I stay, when things get difficult, you'll give up on me. Isn't that why most Christians always give up on church and give up on Jesus? Because they have not encountered the wind. They have not encountered the spirit. They just encountered the person of Christ. And Christ himself said, only the spirit can reveal to you who I am really. So it's better for me to go. If not, you will think you know me, but you do not know me. You will think you understand me, but you do not understand me. You will think you have power, but you don't know really what power is really all about. It's a matter of time you will betray me. It's a matter of time, not because you are bad, because you can follow me by your human love. You cannot stand with me by your human will. It's not possible. So it's just better for me to go that Holy Ghost will come 
and baptize you. Only then you will begin to know who I am. That's what the Bible says. No, no man by the flesh, but by the spirit. Paul said, even though we do not see him, yet we love him. How can we love him even though we didn't see him? Because the Holy Ghost came and baptized them and began to reveal to them things about the Christ that they will have never known even though he walked with them in the flesh. There is a dimension about Christ that cannot be known by just reading the Bible. There is a dimension about Christ that cannot be known by your latest experience of salvation. There is a dimension that can only be revealed by a baptism, a genuine, authentic baptism of the Holy Ghost that catapults you in the libraries of heaven that you begin to know what you have never learned. You begin to know what you never read about. That's what Jesus said when he comes. He will teach you all things and guide you in all truth, even the truth you know about me. He will reveal it to you in a different dimension. Brother and sister, while going through this work of faith, just suffering, toiling, sweating, you cannot know Christ just like that. He said, I have the promise of the Holy Ghost that has come upon you. When it comes upon you, it will give you power to be my witnesses. He will show you the things that I cannot tell you about. He will walk you in the truth that you have heard and take you in the deeper dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your baptism today. In Jesus' mighty name, receive your baptism of fire. Receive your new tongues. Receive the manifestation of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. You know what the Bible says? Peter now stood up bold. That's what baptism of the Holy Ghost does. The coward before baptism become a lion, roaring, dangerous, powerful, scattering. What you to intimidate him has to subdue. What you to intimidate him has to bow. Let a girl make him run. But when the Holy Ghost comes, he stood in front of a crowd that were about to kill them. And he spoke a word that he never spoke before. The first sermon came, inspired by the Holy Ghost. Peter has said to Jesus, before the Holy Ghost, nothing will happen to you. I will die for you. Well, stop it. I'm here. There are certain things that the work of flesh cannot fulfill. Even though you want to love God, even though you want to serve him, you cannot serve him that way. You need a baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's why I said to Zechariah, it will not be by might nor by power, but by my spirit of Ragadolo Musiara. That business needs to be built by the spirit of the Lord. That ministry needs to rise by the spirit of the Lord. That project needs to take off by the spirit of the Lord. Your family needs to rise by the spirit of the Lord. You are Marekata. That dream needs to come to fulfillment by the spirit of the Lord. That promise that was given to you has to be actualized by the spirit of the Lord. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the Lord. Somebody, Marekola Kata. The Bible says, persecution begins. Emperor Nero began to throw Christian to lions to eat. Mm. You know what history said? They devoured them when they were worshipping. No, 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 no. When they were killing Christ, they ran away. What will get a man now who ran away when just it was not even him they were killing? That now the same people who ran away before Holy Ghost baptism. The same people now are standing ready to be devoured by lions. And they still have a voice to worship. Do you think they were singing in Roman or in Jewish language? You cannot sing in the earthly language a praise to God when a lion is about to devour. They begin to raise their voice. Pilando kiana ya tendelele bosi kalama de bere bosi ah they begin to sing in a new song when the lion jump on them they begin to sing in a new song the bible said they beheaded them you know what was mysterious all the heads of these people the faces and the mouth they were smiling dead beheaded but there's a smile that is the power 
of the baptism of the Holy Ghost that you're being devoured, but there is a praise on your lips. You're going through challenges of darkness and scattering situation, but yet there is a smile on your face. Mama, by this baptism of the Holy Spirit, regain your smile, regain your joy, regain your happiness. Lion can devour but I will bring a song to my God. I don't know what time is it, but I don't know if I will be stopping here. But I just want to tell you right now, listen to me. When you have a visitation of the Holy Ghost, things cannot crush you down. They used to crush you. They had a smile on their face when they are being eaten by lions. There is a praise that raised from the stomach, a praise in the spirit. Negolo zibagado zibagada, ibele mo si malamati kelebos. Songs of deliverance, songs of praise to God in the midst of the turmoil. Song of praise to God in the midst of the attack. Song of praise to God by the voice of the spirit. Begin to speak to God and begin to thank him in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Strange manifestation. Listen to me. If you get in my household, when my wife and I and my children we pray, maybe you'll be afraid to, even to say hi when we leave this place. Because, you see, listen to me, manifestation, crawling, roaring, roaring, screaming, crying, rolling, shaking, freezing, you name it. All this manifestation of the going into some weird tongue, our faces change like that. This is not the time to take a picture and put it on snapshot or on WhatsApp. No, 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 no. This one is Holy Ghost. Yes. This one is strange manifestation. Yes. Of the, and it produces. <laughs> it produces result. It will produce power. Atmosphere is shifted. You know, when a man and a woman, when a child, Marikota, forget about their dignity and all their experiences and all. The, listen to me, brothers and sisters. Shush, 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 shush. Life has questions. Mm hmm. That intellect cannot answer. Mm -hmm. Cannot. Life, listen to me. Life will throw questions to you. Mm. Challenge you questions. That even the best among us come short. After they navigate all the archives and the libraries that they know how to. From their own experiences to, to people around them. But yet, the question remains unanswered. Mm -hmm. Deep calling on to deep, speaking mysteries. My goal here is not to teach. My goal here is to inspire you and to impart something within mm -hmm. you. To wake up your spirit. This word are speaking. Intercession that rise by the spirit of God. That I tell you, if you had to intercede it, you will bury your child. Mm -hmm. If you had to intercede it, you will lose your business. If you had to intercede, you will lose your wife. You will lose your children. It takes the intervention of the spirit of intercession. Where God himself will groaning. Begin to ride with him like a horse. That thrilling. Yes. The Bible says Jesus groaned and he called Lazarus from the tomb. He broke the jaws of death by tongues. Please, Christianity is supernatural. Don't let your intellect steal away from you the manifestation that could change your life like it did to Dr. Alexander Dory. Don't let your experience, your personality, become to be a stumbling block for yourself. Mm. Mm. Listen. Tell me, when Jesus take mud and he spit in it, and rub it like this, spit, please, with all the virus that could be in his mouth, he spit into it, and he put it on somebody's eyes. If you 
was confronting the move and the freedom of the spirit, you were there. You will remain blind. You will speak to Jesus. No, hold it. I'd rather be blind than having mud will spit. No, would you? Uh, stop it now. Because it's foreign to your culture. It's foreign to your personality. It's foreign to who you are. Stop it. I'm here to speak to you. Get yourself out of the box. Leave God alone. He cannot be put in a box, but you can be locked down. And it's not somebody locking you down. If you have locked yourself down, today you can choose to stop walking in shallow waters and begin to humble yourself and say, Lord, here I am. Calm, I will be calm. Screaming, I will scream. Roll on the ground, I will run on the ground. When you see somebody rising up in the service, begin to run. I mean, nobody tell him to run. This guy just told him to begin to run on his own. Or the woman stand up shouting and screaming. Ah, ah, begin to cry in the service. A dignified woman. A dignified man. Do you think they are just doing that joking? Is it the time to judge it? Is it the time to cancel it? Is it the time to point finger? Just because it doesn't fit in your little box. God is God. He's unlimited. He works in strange ways. His wisdom is superior than any man's wisdom, than every school wisdom, than every academical system. He is God. When you see a woman standing dignified and begin to weep and begin to laugh and begin to roll on the ground with laughter, celebrating God, yet nobody sang a song, yet nobody worship anything. It's a strange manifestation. If it doesn't fit in your box, you should begin to wonder, God, am I resisting you? Paul said, do not be ignorant because the manifestation of the spirit are various. There is a variety. There is a dimension. There is a dimension that will freak you out, but doesn't mean it's not God. And in this Pentecost, God is releasing a manifestation in the spirit, he will visit you with a new manifestation for new information, new mysteries, and new empowerment. When you see a man like Elijah the prophet begin to pray and position himself like a wife, a woman giving birth. Uh, no, no, seriously. Seeing a man laying down like a woman giving birth on his own, and he begin to groan. What are you doing? I'm producing a cloud. What are you doing? I'm producing a cloud. What are you doing? I'm preparing revival. I'm preparing a rain. The famine has to come to an end. The drought has to cease. The water has to come. The rain has to come. The revival has to come. The harvest has to come. How do you do that laying down? You should go do something at now. I am producing the cloud for the change of my family. I am producing the change for my finances. But we can hear what you say. I'm not talking to you. What are you doing? I am bringing a miracle for my children. I am securing the destiny for my children. I am bringing forth the mysteries to be revealed. What are you doing? I am building my innermost. I am building my faith. I am opening my eyes. I am opening my ears. I am opening my eyes. I have to see deeper. I'm moving the horizon further. I am taking a territory. How are you doing that? You need to do something. No, 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 no. I have nothing else to do. The battle of the Holy Ghost is producing for me. Matolo, paka, pagado, pagado, pagado. Let me keep speaking mysteries. 
Very soon I will speak what I need. Very soon I will speak something for my children. Let me speak prophecy. Let me bless my children. But open your mouth and speak. We need to hear what you say. I am not talking to you. I am speaking to the spirit. Deep speaking to deep. Deep calling on to deep. Deep conversing with deep. Mystery is talking to mysteries. Miracle talking to miracles. Wonders talking to wonders. Spirit talking to spirit. I hear me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So today, I want to invite you to put down something because there is a question that you can answer. The Bible says, to one he give the gift of the word of wisdom. I'm closing with this. If there is something we need today more than anything else, it is the manifestation of the gift of the word of wisdom. We live our life like if we were orphans. He said, it's better I go. Ah, if it's better, it is time the church rise up in the manifestation, specifically here, of the gift of the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom is the solution that you are facing that is not in the library of Google, that your doctor can give you, your professor can give you. I'm going to say it again. I said the word of wisdom, it is the solution that is from above for the multiple questions you are facing. <clears throat> Of the word of wisdom. There are certain things in life is no is not no and is not yes. If you say yes, it doesn't cut it. If you say no, it doesn't. Now, what are you going to say now? I want to pray specifically today for an awakening of the gift of the word of wisdom. Jesus, watch, watch this. Jesus, Jesus. This life is so wicked. Mm. People are so wicked. They will try to trap you in every situation. Mm. Point finger at you. I, I met people who come to meet me to talk stuff. As they open their first step, just the first step, and I sat with them, I knew, God, my word of wisdom needs to be activated. Because everything they are talking about is manipulative. They're trying to trap you, to lie to you, to make you feel like something else, and justify their rebellious attitude and behavior, f playing false pride, uh, false humility. I mean, you can smell it from far when they are talking, trying to invent stories to try to make it look like God is doing something. I, if you're not wise, you don't have wisdom. You are done. You are done. They will trap you to justify the rebellion. Jesus. One day they approach Jesus as they're about to stone a woman. Jesus. You're getting me now. They say, Jesus, if you are a master that you claim to, to say, is it rightful? Look at this woman. If she was caught blank into adultery, according to Moses, now, you know, when they say according to Moses, they are trapping him. Because the true demonstration of a prophet is one who acknowledges those prophets who have come before him. So now they will see. If Jesus said, I don't believe what Moses said, they say, see, he's not a prophet. Now, he, he, he refused to, to believe into Moses. But if Jesus said, now, I agree with what you said. They say, see, he's just bought in our crazy doctrine. Jesus now sat down and began to write. They will come from one way to try to trap you at your workplace. To try to trap you wherever it is. With some fancy talk and manipulation. But there is a wisdom from above that is allocated to you by the baptism of the Holy Ghost that will mess them up back. Jesus stood up now and he asked a question. Who among you has not sinned? He took the gift of word of wisdom to settle such matters. Mm. How many matters you face and you gave the wrong answer? Because of that, your boss demoted you. You faced a situation you didn't know what to say. You said the wrong thing. They demoted you because you did not activate or work and operate in the dimension of the word of wisdom. 
Mm -hmm. I hear me. Solomon was faced with a situation. Two women come and say, ah, ah, ah. Mm. We ate my son now. This one, she rolled and she killed the other mm -hmm. one. The living is mine. Mm -hmm. The living is mine. The living, the one that is alive is mine. Nobody wanted to dead one. Only a true prophet who is anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost can take a dead boy and say, the dead is mine because I can give back life to it. Say, the living is mine. Watch me now. I just shift you around now. Solomon needed a manifestation of wisdom. Do you understand? He said, okay, let's cut this baby in two and then mm -hmm. the, it's settled. Mm -hmm. That is not a humanity, mm -hmm. a, 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 a university speech. It's, it's not possible. This one, it is the demonstration of the power of the gift of the word of wisdom. Mm -hmm. I'm closing now. In Jesus' name. Who should we pay taxes to, Jesus? Mm, mm, mm. Wisdom begin to speak. Mm, mm. What I've been speaking for you. The baptism of the Holy Ghost come to change your language. Not only to speak in tongues, but to demonstrate wisdom that are above what a human can think. Who do people say that I am? They draw from the library of men. But Peter, by the power of the gift. He said, that are the Christ. He just said, there are some answers that life is demanding you. Mm -hmm. It is not allocated mm -hmm. by a university or your experience or mm -hmm. your exposure. Mm -hmm. I tell you. So today, here we are. In this closing, I want we repent for the limitation we have put upon ourselves. Not God. Mm -hmm. not leave God alone. You can limit God. He's God. You only allocate something to him. I want we expand that liberty. Mm -hmm. And say, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. forgive me, I judge you. Mm. Because I didn't understand. Those manifestations did not fit into my curriculum. But today I am willing to embrace your curriculum. I am willing to open up. I am willing to buy into what you are doing in the earth. Mm. And I am willing not to judge, but to be open. Halabashi keribara. Pour your Holy Ghost upon you. And you who are never spoken in tongue as the evidence of the baptism. Wherever you are right now, you don't need somebody to be there. If you have heard this word and you are really genuine, to repent and say, forgive me. It was my lack of understanding. It was my pride. It was my culture, my personality, whatever it is. And some of you have been baptized already in the Holy Spirit. You need an activation of the gift of the word of wisdom. Time do not permit me to cover the nine gifts. But this one of the word of wisdom, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Some of you need a fresh baptism. And on this day, let the Lord baptize you afresh again. So I stretch my hand towards you right now. By the spirit of the living God. Receive a fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive a fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive a fresh fire. Makolomaya basi batosi para. I baptize you with fire. I baptize you with new tongue. I baptize you with a new voice. I baptize you with a fire. I baptize you with fire. I baptize you with power. I baptize you with power. I baptize you with power now in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus. that you may begin to speak with new tongues, that your tongues will be upgraded, that you may tap in the gift of the Father, Marakotana, Zibaya, speaking mysteries, Borosi, Palakota, Rigadon, Stebano. Let the spirit of intercession come upon you. Let the spirit of intercession come upon you. Let the spirit of speaking mysteries come upon you. Let the spirit of worship come upon you. Let the spirit of power come upon you. That you may rise to be a witness. That you may rise to birth revival. That you may rise to birth miracle. That you may rise to birth salvation. Magadono kosi katata. Rada kata kata. Receive it in the name of Jesus. He give it to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I feel the flame rising from the feet of a man. I feel the flame rising. He's climbing up to your knees. I see a flame rising. He's coming and cover your head. I see a flame rising. 
is burning your body. Open your mouth. Really, the utterances. God is giving new utterances. God is giving new utterances. Your prophetic edge is increasing. Your prophetic edge is increasing. The rivers, 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 the rivers. I break the dam. I release the flow. I release the gushing. I release the gushing. I release the gushing. I release the gushing of the waters. The gushing of the spring. The gushing of the living water. The gushing of the wells. The wells of living water. Brata Katota. Yerebon Tandelea. Your father worship on the mountain. Your father worship in Jerusalem. But the time is coming. And the time has come. And the time is now. Where the true worshippers will worship me in spirit. They will worship me in spirit. They will worship me in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. It is the truth that the Holy Ghost is revealing. It is the truth that the Holy Ghost is revealing. It is the truth that is walking you with. Magolosi pakata. Marama takata. Zekere bakala kata. Zeboro paria makata. Zekele paria bakata. Soto pa 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 the book of your advancement, the book for your business, the book for your mystery. It is open. The seal is broken. By the baptism of fire, you can see clearly. By the baptism of fire, you can capture his wisdom. The mind of Christ is accessible. The thought of God is accessible. You begin to speak by the Spirit. You begin to speak wisdom. Somebody lift up their hands and say, Lord, baptize me with fresh fire. Awaken the gift of the word of understanding, the word of wisdom. You say wisdom is the main thing. Baptize me with wisdom. Baptize me with wisdom. Awaken the gift of wisdom to speak mysteries, new utterances. Mayakata, Bragadakata, Ledo Sipan Dongem Bonde, Delen Donga, Zipagado, Bagaya. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I'm not just on fire because I'm a preacher. Mm. That's, I'm on fire continually. Set us on fire. Till we burn till the very end. Every minute and every hour. Molo si alama de gele bagada. When I didn't know God, I tried everything. When you were sinning, you try everything. Today, there are people sleeping with animals. No, no, you didn't hear what I said. And then when it comes to the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, they found that it's strange. Is there anything more strange than a human being sleeping with an animal? Yet it does not shock them. But when they see a manifestation that is holy, righteous and heavenly, they begin to fight it. Is there any more strange manifestation than a man who sleeps with his children? Jesus. You talk to me now. But we see it now on TV. Is there any more strange manifestation of two men and two women kissing? No, 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 no. Hear me. I will say it again. Is there any more strange thing? Please don't begin to pray for me because they will put me in jail if I say that. I don't care. The Bible says is an abomination unto the Lord. I love homosexual. I love lesbian. But lesbianism and homosexuality is an abomination to God. Even if government think it's not an abomination, government cannot understand. Is there any more strange, weird, crazy manifestation than such? So you see no issue with that. Yet when we begin to scream in the faith, 
And we begin to roll on the ground. Speaking in strange tongues. You begin to turn your face around. In Jesus mighty name. May the Lord rescue you again. And some of you Christians. Listen to me. You are ashamed of the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Because you want to be accepted and be dignified. Yet the world is going ballistic, crazy, immoral. The world is going nuts. The world is going strange. Yet we do not see any issue that. They are not ashamed to kiss men. Two men, two men with big muscles holding one another. Putting their mouth into another one mouth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And yet you don't see that an issue. And when somebody begins to brakata, ratagada, zagado, sibe, bondo, 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 briketele, bagadag, rebola, you begin to be like, hey, what is this? What is this? You need redemption. And for us Christians, let's stop being afraid and let them stop being ashamed of the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Listen to me. Don't try to be like other people in the world. You won't change them. Be weird for Jesus. Be crazy for Jesus. Be crazy. Not. Sometimes I watch my wife. In those days, we used to go to the church. When the Holy Ghost came upon her, she began, ah, and she still do it today again. Some of you know that. She began, ah, and I will be sitting like that with my intellectual, very dignified person. I feel like, oh my God, Jesus, this woman, she is destroying our dignity. People are respecting us here. I mean, we come in here, we speak properly. They know who we are. They are respecting us. And now you begin this stuff. We're going to lose the respect. We're going to lose our dignity and honor here. So please, you know, you can just lift up your hand quietly. And just beautiful as you are, just worship him. It's good to hear that. And then she'll become, ah! And then she, you know, she fall on the ground, ah! I feel like please, the drummer keep playing. Drummer, please keep playing. So at least with the noise of the drum, we can hear. Listen to me. I had to change. The guy who's talking to you had to put the intellect on the side. I'm an engineer by trade. I analyze everything. I analyze, I said, I would say, I analyze everything. I'm a mathematician. I deduct logically everything. I mean, I like to calculate it all. And on the top of that, very prideful, standing there, skinny, thinking that you have it all together, thinking everything again in the brain. And if somebody cannot think, he has not my respect. And therefore, stop behaving like an animal. Stop behaving and become very smart and... and uh, I gave thanks to the Lord that he redeemed me. Some of you don't need redemption for salvation, you're safe. You need redemption from your own personality that, you, that lock you down completely and you think that is wisdom and you think because... No, 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 let me tell you. There is nobody who's wise more than the Holy Ghost. I think I say enough. Let those who have ear hear what the Spirit is saying. Even right now, I feel like the atmosphere on this platform will continue in your day. Some of you, your life will never be the same again. There are dimensions in the spirit that cannot be tapped in by staying where you are. You have to step out and enter in and let go and let God. You gotta let go and let God. They spoke in tongues and prophesied. Will you allow me to invite you into that dimension where freedom is available? He said, where the Spirit of the Lord is, the liberty. Where you begin to allow the Spirit to move. Mm. Don't fight him. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I bless them. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Allow me to remind you, on the day of Pentecost also, it was a celebration of harvest, mm. of the bringing of a first fruit. Today, I will ask you, you folks of Cross Point, you've been so amazing. You've been so generous. We are proud of you. You, you, are, you are just phenomenal. My, my wife always tells me, these people are phenomenal. You are our pride. Let me put it that way. Continue to give unto God. But today, I want you to give a special one. 
a first fruit in the perspective to say, Lord, the harvest not finished yet. But I am acknowledging by faith that my blessing is here. My southern list has arrived. And we'll call that just an offering for Pentecost of thanksgiving unto the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Beside your tithe and your offering, just do that little one. It can be one dollar, few cents, two dollar, hundred. I don't, it's not that amount. It is just a token of thanksgiving for what the Holy Ghost have done for you and where he's taking you from now on forth. May the baptism of the Holy Spirit become mm. a greater reality for you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Praise you, the Lord, everybody. Mm. No. Hallelujah. Mm. God is good, everybody. Thank you, Apostle, for this word. Mm. As he was ministering, I felt the Lord saying that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness mm -hmm. will be filled. Yes. The more you hunger, the more the Holy Ghost will fill mm, you. And you I know him. he's already filled you. Mm. But the more you ask for him, yes. the more of his spirit ah, is going to generously give to you. Amen. So today, Amen. I want to leave you with that. And I want to read the Bible out of Acts 13, verse 52, mm -hmm. where the Bible says, And the disciples were filled with joy. He said it was they were continually filled with, with joy in the mm. holy and with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Joy in their souls Thank and you, with Father. the Holy Spirit. Mm. I just want to leave you with that. Thank the you, more Father. you hunger, the more God will Feel. continually fill you with joy, joy and with the spirit in your soul. Hallelujah. We love you so much. Mm -hmm. Happy Pentecost yes. day. Yes. Enter into your suddenly, yes. into your fullness yes. of time, yes. fullness of joy, Hallelujah. and fullness of a Holy Ghost. Amen. May wisdom keep leading you, Amen. keep impacting you, Amen. keep empowering you Amen. to do what God is asking you Amen. to do. We love you. Amen. Be filled. Be Amen. overflow in the Holy Amen. Ghost. And let the joy of the Lord yes. be your strength today. Hallelujah. Happy Pentecost Day. Righteousness, Hallelujah. peace, and joy, joy in, in the, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Today Happy God Pentecost. is going to make somebody laugh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, strange Jesus. Strange visitation for a strange mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. God bless you. God bless Bye you. Bye now. Bye.